Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just out in this workshop tonight and I'm looking at that Delta contractor's table saw that I have and when I posted the video on it a lot of people talked about safety features that are not on the saw. And I started thinking about it because like in the video when I showed the saw I've always used the portable saws and the you know how they have the shroud that goes over it? Uh, it's like a plastic thing usually or whatever. That I, I, I can't have on this saw. Uh, I always throw those away. They come in the box, but I always toss those. And one of the reasons is sometimes um, you've seen me do log furniture. So if you have to take a log and you want to cut this much of it out to fit on a corner or something, it gets complicated because the log is not always, you know, it's not the, ever the same size. So you're pushing through and that, it's just not going to work having that. I, to me, they block what I can see and they just get in my way. But my question is, I noticed like people were saying about, one of the comments was at least put a board splitter on there. And a lot of the comments I read them because I get so many and they kind of go in one ear and out the other and then I think about it afterwards what I've read and I was thinking about all the portable saws that I have they all have a board splitter just a little piece of metal that comes up right here and my biggest worry is this saw has you know this is like what you what a mid-range saw or whatever and then the portable ones are more of a you know down here and anyway is and I mean that as far as power goes and I have very few times ever had to deal with kickback on any of the saws. I do run into it once in a while when I, a couple of times doing the cribs that I made, when I'm running the spindles through, um, I would get some kickback. So I was just thinking about that because if this one kicks back, it's going to kick back a lot harder than one of those portable ones. So I would like to at least put a board splitter in here. I don't like too much junk because it just gets in my way and it, it just ticks me off in the end. But the splitter is a good idea because how many times, especially when I'm using boards that are, that I cut or, you know, they're not kiln dried or anything, they're air dried, you know, you get a lot of stuff that tightens and that thing's going to want to shoot back. So I was looking online and there's a, a few options, like this is the Delta 10 inch contractor table saw. And it sounds like the Delta Unisaw is pretty close when I was reading different things. And there is one that you bolt on in here and you can actually pull it up and down and it actually has, I guess I, I don't know the correct word, but like fins that will stop it from kickback or help out with that, which I, as long as it doesn't get in my way, that would be fine. And, but at, at least a, a splitter here. So, and that one was about $100, which isn't that big of a deal, but people said that it was supposed to be able to fit the contractor saw, the unisaw, just a bunch of different stuff and a lot of people with their contractor saw pretty much everyone that I there was a couple that said it worked but you had to put a spacer behind the blade to shift it over just a little bit so that you know they would line up so as I did my research and then you get all the mixed you know this way and that way I thought you know what I'm just gonna throw a video out there because so many of the people that watched the video on the saw have used this saw or have this saw or one similar and you're going to have some kind of an idea and experience that um, I will understand in the comments. So and I, don't, I don't even know if board splitter is the right correct term for that or whatever but you should know what I mean. So my question is what do you suggest is a good one and I don't like I said I don't want anything that's coming up here and it's got a safety shroud and I, I don't want that at all. Just something to help out with kickback because the way this is uh, lined up right now, if this thing kicks a board out and it misses me, which would be good, the way I'm looking at it, it's probably going to take out the window. <laughs> Actually, it's a little bit lower and gravity comes in. It's about down here, but still, I'm lucky that I have uh, another window pane that would fit directly into that hole if I pulled the screws. <laughs> So thanks a lot for watching everybody. I just uh, want to know what your opinion is. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys on the next video.